G'day folks, it's Rob here and I just would like to welcome everyone in the Northern Hemisphere to spring. Uh, apparently it must be spring up there because you folks have been sending me through a load of emails and messages asking about how to start an aquaponics system. So what I thought I would do for you folks is just to shoot a small little clip pointing you in the direction of where you can find some free information uh, here on my channel uh, as well as a couple of other channels here on YouTube that might help you out and also to a download I made a number of years back but still has some very good free relevant information on it. And then we'll yeah run through a couple of projects I have on the go a bit later on. So to begin with um, yeah, I have a playlist. It's got around about 30-ish videos on it here on my YouTube channel that covers everything from what is aquaponics, goes through a couple of very basic system designs from people who are asking for some help, also covers components. I think there's one in there called the nine essential components for an aquaponic system, or at least in my opinion. And there's also component builds, things looking at how bell siphons work and how you can make your own, uh, how to make a complete chop and flip aquaponic system out of one of the caged IBC tanks. And then some additions that you can use in that build, things like a bell siphon for flooding and draining the bed, and also a very basic and efficient canister filter just using a bucket and some leftover bird netting or shade cloths that you might have knocking around the place. Along with those practical videos there's also things that you need to know like how to cycle your aquaponic system before you pop the fish in otherwise you may do them a little bit of harm with spiked ammonia readings and nitrate. Uh, also things like uh, pest control of the system, how you can basically look after things like aphids and caterpillars without poisoning the fish. Um, aquaponics is generally considered a bit of an organic growing system because the fish are so sensitive we can't use a lot of harsh chemicals so that little video there in itself will give you a number of uh, tips just so you can uh, look after different pests without harming your fish or your own belly I suppose when you come to eat the produce. So that playlist uh, is available freely you can uh, click on the little link that'll pop up there or there'll also be a link in the description down below and a card will pop up at the end as well. And down in the description you'll also find a couple of links to people like Rob, G'day Rob from Bigelow Brook Farm, a couple of videos or playlists that may help you out as well if you're starting out. Um, you know what I do here is one way to do things, other people have worked out other methods to do them so it does pay to have a bit of a look around and see what works best for you in your environment. So yeah, please do check out those other YouTube videos and channels down there. And down there in the description you'll also find a link to a PDF that I have housed over on our membership site. It's a free PDF so all you have to do is follow the link and download it. Um, and it contains links to other helpful free information you can find online. Also my own YouTube videos, you know, you've got to spruik your own wares and some other helpful sites as well. So yeah, please check that out. Um, if you're new to aquaponics, um, the more research you do before you get cracking, the more likely it is that you'll have a successful system up and running within a matter of months. Uh, just a little bit of a quick heads up as well, something I've hinted at elsewhere online. I'm working with some fantastic folks, Jim and Kylie. Great to meet you the other day, Kylie. Uh, and we're putting together some, oh, well, Kylie's team is putting together some guides using content I've already published and some other content that I've provided with them as well. Uh, looking at basic um, getting started guides for aquaponics a lot more in depth than what you're going to get here on YouTube with um, transcripts and maybe a couple of different languages thrown in there as well. So I'll do a larger, uh, a, a more flamboyant announcement of that. Flamboyant? No, not me. I'll, but I'll do an announcement on that later on uh, just to fill you folks in on what's going on there. Um, the other thing I've been working on this week is a couple of videos. Uh, one to do with aquaponics and one to do with um, netting off small garden beds. So what I've been working on this week is mucking around with bell saw Siphons yet again. Um, I've just been playing around with a couple of different designs. Uh, this is the classic Afnan. You have a standpipe with an enlarged um, coupling placed on the end. It's basically a reducer. So we have a three quarter inch standpipe and a one inch to the three quarter inch reducer there, or a 20 mil standpipe with a 25 mil to 20 mil reducer. And what that does is it just allows um, a lot more water to enter a smaller pipe to create a water lock to initiate your siphon. It's a basic AFNAN design. Now a lot of people have problems getting these guys to fire or stop in some cases after they have siphoned the bed. So I'm working on a video at the moment that will run through ways that you can um, troubleshoot that problem. Um, it's not just only water coming into the bed, there can be other issues that cause your siphons not to work properly. 
and yeah while i've been at it i've been doing a little bit of work online um, finding what issues people have been having and i came across a couple of neat little ideas uh, people trying to get their siphons to work better tried a few out didn't work too well but yeah you've got to do a little bit of experimenting just to see what works best so i've been mucking around with that a lot this week uh, i did put the call out on um, youtube you've probably already seen the link if you have been following me for a while and also on a few other social media sites asking for people about any issues they've had with bell siphons and i've had a few people ask about doing u siphons and loop siphons as well i'm not going to tackle them in that video that is coming up in a week or two's time yeah i'm just concentrating on bell siphons at the moment and if you want a bit of a spoiler i have used all three methods loop siphons i never got to run properly so i can't make an informed judgment on them but i have used the u siphons and the bell siphons in a bit of a trial here last year and to tell you the truth i found them both as fiddly as the other but once you understand how the siphon works it's pretty easy to dial in so um yeah whether i'm team u siphon or bell siphon well yeah sorry folks i'm team bell siphon just because to me it's easy i always build them you know pretty uniformly the same and they always work with no hassles once i dial them in and yes i am using a uh, drink bottle at the moment um so i found that it's pretty hard to get them long enough to actually work in the depth of beds that I've got. So I've actually had to um, cut a bit of that standpipe off. So yeah, uh, a lot cheaper than buying PVC pipe and end caps and that sort of thing. But if you run a slightly deeper bed, it can be hard to find a nice deep bottle um, to act as your bell. But it is nice to see the siphon initiate and disengage and that sort of thing through the plastic. Oh, and just quickly, no, these aren't real mushrooms. I've had a few people ask. They're just some ornamental ones that Bianca bought me just to put in some pots upstairs. And I thought I'd pop them in the aquaponics. And just before we go, a quick update on the system for you folks who are interested. The plants are doing really well um, since they went out. I think you saw that in the last video. I am getting a lot of um, the white cabbage butterfly eggs on them, but I'm just going around squishing them at the moment. Uh, they have been sprayed with diaper as well which is a natural um, Bacillus thuringiensis insecticide. The bacteria kills the caterpillars, so um, doesn't harm us or the fish. So a lot of the plants have been sprayed with that, namely these brassicas. So we have some um, fast growing cabbage there, uh, four kale. Um, we do have some others around here. We've got some uh, broccoli on the grow here. Some of these had a number of um, eggs on them this morning, but I think I've been pretty thorough. I oh, know it appears that I've missed a couple just there, so they need to be squished. Um, but yeah, the dipole generally looks after them as soon as they ingest the dipole. Um, it only takes them a day or so before they um, get knocked off. I just noticed the cheeky buggers are even laying them on the top of the leaves at the moment. So I squish them. But yeah, the rest of the system, um, it's going okay. I still haven't cleaned out these tomatoes as of yet. Uh, the fruit they're producing are a nice, decent size at the moment. So I'm thinking, yeah, we'll just take off what's growing over the bed and even cut back the eggplant again. It's got a couple of nice little fruit on there and we'll let them mature. But yeah, we need to make some more space for some more brassicas to go in here, get some more uh, broccoli on the go, I think. But overall, pretty chuffed with the way the little system's ticking along at the moment. Just quickly as well, when you do check out that um, starting your aquaponic system playlist, if you could leave any suggestions down below for video content you think it is lacking, I really would appreciate it. As I mentioned, there's the troubleshooting bell siphon one going in there later on, and I'm also looking at one um, that is to do with processing the solids waste that we remove through the solid settler processing that or mineralizing it and then reintroducing the mineral rich water back into the system so uh, things like that will be added in slowly but yeah what i think people want to know about and what you folks who are just starting out um, want to know can sometimes be two different things i forget that i've been doing this for quite a few years now so yeah i do tend to overlook some very simple things other people pick up on so yeah please leave those comments down below i really would appreciate it uh, i also do appreciate all you folks who do stop by week after week and suss out the videos and give them a thumbs up thank you very much folks and please feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, I'm going away for a couple of days, but yeah, I will get back to them in a couple of days time. Um, I really do love chatting to you all down there. And of course, I also need to thank those awesome folks who are supporting us through the YouTube membership program and our Farm Your Own Yard membership site. Thank you very much, folks. Really do appreciate the support. Uh, but I will pretty much well leave it there. I do hope you're all well and happy and your aquaponics and gardens are booming. And I will catch you next video. Cheers, folks. Take it easy.